Hello and welcome to a GP feature overview for Smartlist Designer, a GP 2013 Service Pack 2 new feature. My name is Devin Southall from Software Solutions Group, a Microsoft Dynamics GP partner in Western New York. And let me show you Smartlist Designer. Here we are in GP 2013. Let me open the Smartlist. You can tell you're in Service Pack 2 if you have the new button here. That's Smartlist Designer. I'm going to give you a real life situation of why you might want to use Smartlist Designer. We get a lot of calls even around year end for people trying to work on their 1099s. On the 1099 option, there's a field called 1099 box where you specify where you want the monies to be displayed on the 1099. Unfortunately, if we go back to the standard smart list and look at the columns, you'll notice that the 1099 box is not available on the standard smart list. So let me show you how to add that in Smart List Designer. So what I'd like to do, there's two different ways to launch Smart List Designer. You can launch it when you're not on a Smart List and you hit New. It's going to come in blank and you can select any of the fields. Or you can be on an existing Smart List, hit New, and it comes in with some data preloaded. It doesn't matter whether you're on the yellow folder or any of the favorites, it's going to come in with the exact same list of fields listed just something to keep in mind. So it's got vendor ID and vendor name. We want to add some of the other fields. We're going to go up to Microsoft Dynamics GP. We're going to open that up and notice it says tables. So I'm going to open that up. And this is a purchasing table. It's going to show us the display names for the tables. So that makes it a lot easier. I don't need to know the SQL names or the technical names. I just need to know the table that I'm looking for. So here it is, the PM Vendor Master File. I'm not going to check the box. If I check the box, it's going to add all the fields over here. I'm going to expand it open, and it's going to show me all the fields. Now I want to check them individually. So I already have Vendor ID and Vendor Name. I don't want to add those. But I want to go down, and I want to add my 1099 type, and my 1099 box number. Maybe that's enough for now. So if you see in the field section here, I now have my two new fields selected. But if I try to execute the query right now, it's going to yell at me. I have two different tables on here and I have to tell them how to relate them. Now that's this section, the relationship. I can try the auto link button. Fortunately, it's telling me it can't create it. So I'm going to go to the first table, the vendors, and say vendors. Well, how do I relate them? Vendor ID. Now, if you're used to joining queries, this will make perfect sense. If you don't, I think some experience in table building is probably better. So here we go. I'm going to relate my vendors table to my vendor master on vendor ID. I'm going to do a left join, meaning a directional join. Now I'm going to try to execute my query. Hey, check it out. I now have data. There's my vendor IDs, my vendor names, and here's my 1099 types. I can leave it like this and hit OK. Oh, got to give it a name right up here, a name. So what do we want to call this? We're going to call it our vendors with 1099 data. Where do we want to show? We want to show it in Microsoft Dynamics GP purchasing. So I can leave it just like this, hit OK, and there it is, and there's my smart list. But maybe I just want my 1099 vendors on here. So I'm going to hit Modify. Notice I now have a Modify button. I don't want to make a new one. I want to change this one. So I'm going to hit Modify. And now I'm going to add a filter. I'm going to only put where 1099 type, whole bunch is, is not equal to. So I am going to say, all right. So I said is not equal to a 1099 vendor. And I had to peek to tell exactly how to put that in there because there's no prompting. Now I previewed it to make sure that it's working right. And you can see now I'm seeing all the 1099 vendors only. So I'm going to hit OK. And now that's my new list. So that's how to use Smart List Designer. 
there are a couple more features. You can hit the T SQL and actually look at the SQL. You also could add calculated fields up here in the calculations. Maybe you want to do one number minus another number. The calculations are pretty limited, but there are some things you can do using functions and constants. I hope you've enjoyed my presentation of Smartlist Designer and I look forward to speaking with you again. Goodbye.